Hi. <laughs> Already a couple videos ago, I mentioned that I want to make this greenhouse into a better space. It's become, we put it up the first winter that we were here, so already two years ago, and it kind of became a, let's just put it there because we don't really have storage kind of, th kind of space, which is really annoying um, because it could be used as a growing space. You don't really need a greenhouse here in Portugal because the season is already so long and um, yeah, you can grow plenty outdoors, but a greenhouse kind of gives you more control over the whole thing and you can have tomatoes and that kind of stuff a little bit earlier so it can be it still can be used as a season extender which is handy here because here in central portugal it does get cold still for much longer than it does um at the coast and in the algarve and stuff so it would be nice to have that extra bit of season but <laughs> it needs a lot of work if I want to get this done before the tomatoes can go in they still haven't come up yet so I think we have a couple weeks but I would like to put a couple tomato plants in here maybe some cucumbers and yeah just see how that goes and then over summer we can put shade cloth on and they can just continue to grow but First, I think we need to get all the stuff out and see what we, where we can put everything and then we'll go from there. But I already remembered I forgot something, a trash bag. <laughs> So I cleared out most of what's underneath these tables and what I want to do now is I just want to keep this side as a table and here where all the new seedlings are I want to get rid of this whole table so that will give lots of extra growing space but it looks kind of wonky so I'm, I have to make it a little bit more sturdy get all the planking right and then we can move I can move all these over here, start taking this apart and then one important, I don't know if I'll get to it today, but one important thing that I also need to do he over here then is put some chicken wire, chicken wire around it um, because as I said I want to have the chickens here scratching everything, get busy on all the weeds here and then, uh, but I don't want them to ruin my seedlings obviously so I'm gonna put some chicken wire on there so that they can't even jump on the table although I don't think they would but uh, yeah that's that's the plan
so I'm thinking it would be better if it's closer to the edge. Um, Um, it's probably not close at the moment because we have rocks here to keep everything in place, which works really well. We're the one of the few ones that haven't had any issues with our greenhouse, but uh, yeah, I just need to wiggle it around a little bit so that we can still have this here, but also create more growing space. for this is better oh. kind of is it better Okay, kind of stable, well pretty stable, um, our building style as you know is just turn the ugly side uh, to where you don't see it as much, so I just turn it around, uh, it doesn't really matter for the stability, so put the ugly side at the back. So now I'm thinking these are on top of there, they can go back. It just kind of needs a few so that the trays can be there, be on there. And I was thinking in the name of efficiency and like using the space as much as possible, I will also put some planks here so that I can also put like one or two trays here. Uh, of seeds and hopefully they get 
enough light that way that they don't get leggy or anything but I'll try this first because it was would be very nice to just have this table instead of all this space being wasted so that's the next step put some on top and then I have to find some longer bits for the bottom part I think So because I'm a little too tired today, I'm hoping, yes, the trays fit on your sideways. I think they should get enough light under here as well. This on top. The tomatoes are starting to come up. It seems that there was some type of seed in the compost, or maybe it was one of the wild carrots here. Already take one out here. Nice, well done. I'm just going to use some of this wire to attach it to the top, just on a few points. Mm. Then I need to make something for this corner. I'm really trying to be careful so that none of these pointy ends can harm the plastic because that would not be good. My supervisor is also here. Doe ik het goed? <laughs> yeah. Ja? Oké, okay, nu we're gonna uh, cut this off. En I'm thinking I'm, I'll do a plank. To keep it way down a little. My other supervisor also arrived. Um, yeah, uh, we run out. I don't know the English word. I'll put it in here. In Dutch, it's krammetje. We ran out of the small ones, so we only have the really big ones. So I'm just gonna use some of this wire some more to attach it to this to weigh it down 
That should be enough. I don't know, it's not super important. But. Die hoeft te laten ik heb dus het niet gezien. Dan kan je weer even aan de kant. Ja. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Uh, we now have two levels where we can put trays and I'm just leaving some extra space here for loose pots. This chicken wire situation is only temporary for now because now Book is building a tower. Uh, but I want to have the chickens in here so it's mainly so that they don't attack these seedlings and then if I want to have something more serious here I might build something more <laughs> permanent especially this part is not ideal but it will keep the chickens out for now I will just put like a loose bit here as well and then the chickens yeah will you what say and so now the next stage is for the chickens to go here and scratch all this up. Yeah. Tot later. All right, it's a very windy day today, so uh, you're probably gonna uh, hear some music because uh, I don't know if you can even hear me, but maybe it's not so bad at the moment. Um, the plan for today is to continue on the greenhouse and preparing it for actually growing stuff. And uh, one of the major issues with the greenhouse at the moment is that the, the door that we have on there uh, has a massive hole in it. Um, I'll show you. When, when we bought this thing, it had this plastic on top. This is uh, supposed to have plastic in between. Uh, but as you can tell, it's just holes now. Um, it's great for ventilation, but it doesn't really keep the chickens out. Or at least it did before the cats got in. And they made like a, a little hole in there to get in and it's big enough to get the, uh, to uh, uh, for the kid, uh, chickens to get in um, now we actually do want the chickens in here now to prepare the soil and uh, scratch everything up uh, but now it's an escape hole so I have to do something about this door um, and uh, of course uh, we're gonna use what we have um, so I'm gonna try and put some chicken wire on the door um, I'll do this on inside because it's starting to rain which is great but not for uh, working in um, so uh, let's uh, get this door off the hinges and put it in the greenhouse and then I'll start working on it
Okay, still a toy from my daughter, as any good father would do in this kind of situation. It's one of those blocks that she actually never plays with. I found it in the dirt somewhere. Uh, we're gonna use it as a as a a lock for the door, so it stays close. Um, hopefully, this one is long enough. It should be. Nope, it's also not long enough. Okay, let's try it without a washer. Yeah, that will work. Nice and tight. It's amazing. Now we have a work functioning door on the greenhouse. Leah asked me to also take apart this table that I built for her a while ago, years ago. She thinks she needs. No, she doesn't need as much space for uh, seat links this year. I doubt it, but whatever. If she asks me, I'll do it. Such a beautiful table. Oops. Right plastic doesn't rip. Seems doable. There we go. They actually go quicker if you leave it up a bit. Because then more animal or more insects can live in there and they will go down quicker. That's what I read. Okay, I'll uh, get my axe tomorrow and finish this. Time for wine. <laughs>
Okay, so for now we're gonna let the chickens do their thing, scratch everything open, eat hopefully lots of seeds from the weeds that were growing in here. Uh, so I'm thinking I'll keep them in here uh, during the day and then at night they go back in their coop. But uh, I'm thinking during the we'll leave them here for about two weeks, get them scratching everything and then we'll continue on with the next phase which is making the beds in here and possibly even starting to plant things. Uh, another important thing we still have to do is fix this. Um, I want to make it so that you can easily open and close it uh, when it's warm during the summer and I think that might require a little bit of framing. That was a chicken. <laughs> So, um, but that's all for part two of this series that will come out in a couple weeks. If you don't want to miss that and you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it and we'll see you guys next week.